day guys welcome back it's resin day sometimes we have acrylic pouring day other times we have resin days today's resin and I've got these gorgeous little coaster molds do you remember seeing the video of me making this bowl so this set actually comes with five of these coasters the other ones in the drawer I don't like doing odd numbers of coasters but it comes with five and then this bigger one for a, a bowl or a tray so I guess it's a six piece set if you've got five and then six so I, I did that um, now with these gold pieces you can hear that in the mold they are raised so with this one I painted mica powder on with the brush it was really messy the mica powder flew everywhere it sort of went in here and I thought I want to try these again but I don't want to use mica powder and I wonder I wonder if I use the gold leafing pen will it come off with the resin that is the question so I've done the others those three um, it's pretty easy to do uh, I'm choosing to use the Krylon I don't know if it says anywhere I'm looking for if it's like water based or oil based it doesn't say with this one the deco color it actually says they're oil based so uh, I don't know whether or not maybe that one will be a bit more difficult to come off um, you know when you peel your your resin out of your mold so I'm gonna go with the Krylon it doesn't go on as easily um, some places I've had to do two coats so we shall see what happens some of you guys may have already tried this with the gold pen um, yeah let me know if it's worked for you I guess we'll find out at the end of the video but we shall see so I've got my, I've made up my resin I'm going to do the uh, 3d flower effect with this one I'm just coloring in my little dots see these are little round raised dots here I am going to put some gold glitter in the center there I think that will look pretty and then I'm going to just do white petals like I normally do with my 3d mix you know with the cast and craft but my resin is just sitting over there waiting so I thought I'll just catch up on all these others while my resin's waiting to set up a little bit see some areas doesn't it doesn't look as if it's sort of gone on properly but I'll wait for it to dry a little bit and then I can maybe touch those areas up with the oil based one the deco color because um, I did do a few of them in that one and I thought oh what if they don't come what if the color doesn't come off in the resin so I wiped them off with acetone and I did them again with this one because wouldn't it be awful if the color stayed on the mold and didn't come off yeah that would be awful so <laughs> anyway there's that one done um, I may go over a few little areas if it needs to be done my resin's in here I made up 225 grams of A and 100 grams of B and I'm using the Platinum Ultra. So I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit longer. Once it gets to the 25 minute mark, I'll come and decant, mix up my colours. But um, I'll come back to you when we're ready for that stage. So I'll see you then. I'm back. It's a rainy overcast day today here in the Sunshine Coast, Queensland. <laughs> nice day for being inside and pouring. Now I was getting my glitter out for my center, my gold, and I thought, no, if I do gold, you're not going to see the gold dots. So I'll put that back and I'm going with this one. Hopefully we'll be able to see the gold dots through this. This one's by Derice. It's called Glitz called glitz so I'll put a little bit of that in there and that's going to be the centers so I'm hoping that when you pull the resin out a the gold's going to come with and B we'll be able to see the little dots in between all this glitter so that's what I'm hoping we're going to do but let's let's pull the the resin out because it's starting to warm up 
it's not a, as I say, it's not a very hot day today, so it might take a little bit longer. So because I'm doing four, I'm going to go with 60 grams, which is two ounces. That means we'll have about 15, well, yeah, 15 ounce, 15 grams, half an ounce per flower. Should be enough, shouldn't it? They're not very big. They're not going to need a lot of, of white. Um, and they have to decant that because see how full it is? It's going to get hot really quickly. So that's the problem when you pour your colour into something like that. It, uh, it gets hot really quickly. So now that I know how much is in there, I'm just going to pour it into this shallow bowl. Otherwise, in five minutes' time, that'll probably be rock hard in there and then we won't be able to use it. So just be aware of that. So that can stay in there. That's going to be for our white. Actually, now I need another cup. Probably can't use that cup again, can I? Never mind. I could have just poured it straight into that on the scale, hey. Next time, remind me. Rightio. So the rest of this is going to go into there, but I'll just take a little bit for my glitter. Now don't go overboard with your resin there. You just want a tiny, tiny bit. That might have even been too much. See how runny, runny it goes if you put too much in, and then you have to add more glitter. Okay, let's give that a stir. I've never used this colour before. Looks as if it might have a little bit of pink in there, pinky colours. I added too much resin. Now I have to put more of this in to make a paste. It's probably best to do your resin first. Put a tiny, just like a few drops of resin in first. Well, a quarter of a teaspoon. Depending on how big your areas are going to be. So that's it there. So I'll just spoon like into each of those little rounds. But I don't need to do that yet. That can just sit there and wait patiently. Now the rest of this can go into the moulds. Um, I probably only want to do like half half full. I haven't cleaned them with the um, sticky tape because I didn't want the gold to come off. Never mind. All right, let's just pour this on, see what happens. So we'll just put enough in for it to go out to the edges first. And then I can come back and add a little bit more to each. I think that one had a bit more. I still haven't touched the edges. Let's go again a little bit more just so that all the edges are covered. And I might not even have needed all of this. Still got some left. Oh, my torch is in the other room again. I need to order two. I need to order another torch. That way I can have one in here for my resining and then one in the other room for when I do my silicon moulds. That's what I need to do. Alrighty, have we gone into all the little corners, little edges? I think so. I'm just going to stand back and have a look and see how much is in there. I don't think they're quite half full yet. Put a little bit more in. And I'll, I'll adjust my records in my little black book of everything I do to say that I don't need to make up 320 grams because I'll do a top coat as well. So you, you don't want to fill these up too much. You want to allow some room for the top coat. Now I'm just having a little look and seeing how much room we've got. It's really hard to tell if they're even. How much is in there? All right, I'm just gonna go and grab my torch. Stay right there. Because I need to pop some bubbles. Got it. I like this one because you don't have to hold down any buttons while you're torching. You just have to turn it on and then off it goes. I don't like those where you have to hold down a button when you go. <laughs> that 
annoys me. All right, that'll do for now. Um, we'll let some more bubbles come to the surface because they will keep rising. Um, and then um, I've got another 15 minutes before I need to pipe. So I'll come back in about 10 minutes and we'll measure out some white pigment. All right, see you then. As you can see, I went and grabbed that fifth coaster because I've still got some resin left in there. You know, I've got my 60 grams or two ounces in my bowl still for my white. And I had this left and I thought, oh, I might as well use it. So this one hasn't, the gold hasn't had a chance to set up as much. So it be interesting to see if it still works. Well, hopefully they'll all work. Now, I'm just going to divide this and give each of them a little bit more. I've got five minutes left until I need to pipe. That'll be the 45 minute mark for this particular resin. And with the weather being as it is, look, I've still got a tiny bit left. All right, I can just sit there for a minute. Now, if these work, this is the big daddy, if these work, I'll do... A massive 3d bloom or flower on that one and then we'll have a matching set so we shall see what happens hey I'm um, just having a look to see if they're all about equal I think this one needs a little bit more it's hard to see really oh it doesn't matter anyway I've got a tiny bit left right Let's move on. Uh, so there's the resin for the white. And we'll just put it back into the little paper cup. I guess we don't need to need to, but I don't know. I'm just used to doing it that way. Scrape all that out. When I'm finished using my jugs or my bowls or whatever I'm using. I just wipe them out with paper towel. Actually, I probably lost, I might have lost like five grams that's stuck to the side. I'm going to add a little splash from the other jug because there's still some left in there. Actually, I'll just give it a wipe now because you can't get it all out, can you? So I'll just add a little bit from the other jug. Just wiping this out before it goes off and that'll be ready to use next time there we go and I'll just pour a little bit of this in here just to make up for that little bit that was probably left behind okay so it's starting to thicken now it's leaving a little mound. Let's mix those two lots in together. Leaving a little mound. Right, so because it's got 60 grams or two ounces, we're going with 10 drops of the white cast and craft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. I cut the nozzle about halfway off otherwise you're squeezing forever and it's really hard to get anything out so I, I just trim the nozzle off and then I just have to give it a little squeeze and then half of the amount that I've got in there of ink so the 10 drops I do half with the white alcohol ink so that's five and that's the pinata one two three four five I don't know that I've actually done one without the ink I just think it helps with the um you know, just sort of floats more. Well, I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> but I've been getting good results when I add the two together, so try that. And I'm going to make my little hole a little bit smaller today. Now, instead of doing four to five millimeters, I think I'm going to do like about three and put less on. Um, I think what recently I put quite a thick amount on and it all sunk to the bottom. I didn't show you the video though because it didn't work. But I'm thinking, oh, was that just because, it could have been because my resin hadn't sat long enough. 
it could have been because um, I put too much pigment in and it's got too heavy or it could have been because the hole was too big and I piped too much out and it was heavy and it just sunk so three reasons so you just don't really know which of those reasons but those are the three reasons that that's going to happen to you so yeah you just don't know which one though now I'm going to go with my little glittery centers put a little bit in the middle of each Not too much. I'll just start with a little blob on the end of the stick because it's going to sort of float away anyway. I've only just got enough actually for five centers. Hopefully it won't spread too too much. I'm hoping it sort of stays in that little circle there that's been made for it by the mold. And I won't put too much in because as I said it will it will sort of spread out a little bit, but I'll just use everything that I've got here. I won't make up any more. I think I think it'll be enough. Whoops. Whoops. Get back in there. Okay, that's all. <laughs> I can't get any more out. Now let's just make sure it's all staying in a little circle there try and get it to look like a, a circle anyway and hopefully we'll see gold dots through it I don't know I actually don't know if that will work or not because everything's upside down like, yeah I don't know I'm going to torch those and this one hasn't had a torch, has it? You always get lots of bubbles when you put your glitter center in because it's been mixed up a lot. Okay, now, oops, I've gone past my 45 minute mark. Still quite runny though. By the time I get to it, it's probably gonna be up to 50, which will be fine. Oops, it's going to be full. Maybe I should have done two. Two baggies. But you don't use a lot in this technique, so it should be... I'll have enough there. It's just being in a big... A bigger bag than what I'm used to. Put that over there. I can use it again. Look at that. So these come closed obviously and you need to trim that and then it's up to you to decide you know how much you want to trim off that. This is still quite cool like it hasn't warmed up a lot. That's probably because of the temperature in the room. I might actually push it for another mm, three minutes but let's cut a little bit off. Probably a third. See how that's clear there? I'm just going to cut the top third off and see See, that's too thin. For me, that's too thin. I'm not getting enough out. Okay, that's better. Hmm. I actually don't know what that is. Oh, let's, let's, let's put the little ruler on it and see. It's actually four millimeters. I've cut four millimeters off. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look, I've tried doing less and you just don't get enough out, but just don't squeeze too hard, okay? Mm, I don't know whether to leave it in a few, another couple of minutes. I'm so tempted just to leave it a couple more minutes. Let's torch again. This end one here, the, the new one, he's got lots of bubbles in him. Don't get too close. Go really fast with your little torch. Don't get too close because you can melt your mold and then your resin will stick to it and that's no fun at all. Okay. 
I've still got two minutes left to 50 minutes. All right, let's, let's just go. Let's go. I left it 50 minutes the other day. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This one here. That was my 50 minute one and it didn't really bloom as much. And I left that one 50 minutes. So it might have been a little bit too thick for the resin to start blooming. So let's just do it. I'll do that one last because, yeah, just let him sit a bit longer. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the outside first, which I don't normally do, and I'm going to follow that pattern, and then I'm going to come in the middle and do a circle. That's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to start up here. And I don't want to touch the edge of the coaster, the outside of it, because I don't want the edges sticking Ooh, this is more tricky than I thought it was going to be. Oh, see where I've joined it there a couple of times. That might be a blob there. Might be. I'm just going to concentrate so I may not talk too much. I just want to concentrate on what I'm doing. Okay, wind that back up. Just supporting my hand with my other hand. Try not to go too fast because you kind of drag the colour, the white, and you don't want to kind of drag it. Oops, oh, I didn't do a very good one there. You don't want to drag it because then it thins it out and then you have some areas that are thick and some areas that are thin, so try not to drag. Just go the same um, what's the word? Speed. Don't go too fast on some of them. That one's not quite thick enough. Okay, oh, this is hard, you guys. All right, last one. Up and down. It's getting harder to do as I go along. All right, so now the next one, I'm just going to go just like a circle in the middle there. I'm going to wind that back up. Let me make sure we're still taping. Yes, hello, you're still with me. All right. Now, let's see if we can just do like a circle. Or... A just a petal, really. Oops, that one's not very big. See, I'm trying not to get the white too much into the center. I've kept my center clear there with the, just with the glitter in it. this works Look at all the white I've still got left didn't need two ounces that's for sure going to go around. Why not? Because some areas on the circle have got white and then some haven't. Okay, woohoo! Look at that, I've still got some left. 
but I just didn't know how much to use. Let me just get the resin off my hands, my gloves quickly. A few pumps of alcohol onto my wet wipe. Wipe my gloves. Now these areas where I've come across I don't want them to be blobby. I'm just going to see if I can stretch them out a little bit. But so where I've gone over the resin, the white resin, a couple of times, that's where you tend to get your your blobby areas where it's gone over. But I don't think you'll see that really because it's going to be underneath the the gold, isn't it? If the gold works. Okay, it looks as if it's starting to bloom already. <gasps> yay! Yay, yay, yay! Heat gun on low. Round first, heat the whole thing up. Popping some more bubbles. Don't get too close. You don't want to get your torch into your resin. I'm just pushing from the outside in. all the way around now i'm going to aim for the middle petals for the out for the outside end because sometimes i miss those middle ones just the outer ones get the heat so i'm just aiming it into the the center a little bit there but i get them all Don't go overboard with the heating. As I said previously in my videos, you've just spent, well, in my case, 50 minutes waiting for that resin to set up. And then you heat it up and it gets all thin again. So, um, yeah, just be careful. I'm just going to put you on pause just while I clean up my mess and then I'll oh, take you down for a close-up. Hey, I'm back. Right, let's have a little look at these. They look as if they've worked really, really nicely. And uh, I'm going to give them a coat of navy blue. I think that will look really pretty. What do you think? Do you think blue? I did black the other day, so I don't want to do black again. But I do think when you're doing these white with gold they really do need a dark background so maybe navy blue um, maybe a one that's coming up maybe I could do like a deep purple and uh, a burgundy so maybe a few all right I'm just gonna go and pop you up on the tripod and uh, we'll get the blue mixed up right oh there we go can you see get my glove back on so I've made up um, what did I do? 110 grams of A and 50 grams of B. So 160 grams, that should be plenty for these. So I thought I'd go with this one. Look, it's a really gorgeous navy blue. It's by LBB Resin. I think it's the only really dark navy blue that I, I really like that doesn't I've got one other, but it sort of throws a bit of more of a grey. So I really like this one. Let's, um, let's put some in there. I'm going to touch it with the stick, but the resin, like the pigment will stick to the, the stick. Like it's not going to stay in there. It's going to stick to the stick, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, that's that one. And then I thought I might add some blue glitter this one's by Doris it's called marine so let's have a look and see what this is going to look like mixed up like I said it's my favorite blue LBB resin not sure what LBB stands for look at that isn't it gorgeous it's so pretty 
just a really pretty shade. I've got lots of blues. Probably got the most number of blues out of any colour. You know, in different shades. But this is my favourite. I'm going to have to buy more because I'm down to oh, probably half. Um, I don't think that's... Is that enough? Mm, decisions, yeah, that, that'll be enough. Can you hear the rain? Oh, it's just been raining for the last few days. I was actually about to go to bed. It's 10 o'clock, uh, quarter past 10 at night, and I thought, oh, I better go to bed. And then I thought, oh, I wonder if I can do the top coat. That way I can unmold tomorrow morning, you know? So when I do that, I can still see the stick. Uh, I better put a bit more in. So yeah, I thought, I better go to bed, but then now oh, I want to come and do this. Put a little bit more in. That way we can unmold in the morning, can't we? Clean up my mess as I go. And then I'm going to put some glitter in. The glitter came in a, a pack like that. Lots of different colours. It's a really nice one actually by Doris. Got that one from Amazon. It's just a, it's called chunky glitter. It's not the extra chunky or the super chunky. It's just the chunky one. It's really pretty. Okay, let's add some glitter. And there are similar shades. See that? Which is nice. It's probably about a, a quarter of a jar just gone in there. I don't want to add too, too much. Just give it a bit of a shimmer because the navy blues are really pretty anyway. It's not going to need a lot, so just just a little, just a little shimmer. Oh my gosh! I am so hoping that this gold pen that I drew on is going to come off. Wouldn't it be awful if it stayed on my mold? And then when I turned them over, pulled the resin out, it was just like white petals with no gold and all the gold was still on the mold oh that would be awful let's hope that doesn't happen hey so i'm super keen to see if it's going to work tomorrow right let's just pour a little bit on first and make sure that i've got enough to go around should have I'm sort of 5 10 15 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, no, what did I do? 4, 8, 12, 16, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. That's what I went, I allowed 30 grams or one ounce per coaster. I think is what I did. And always a little bit stays in the cup. You can't always get everything out of the cup. So that works out pretty well. Let me just push it to the edges. I don't want to overflow it. I didn't leave a lot of room for the top coat. Mm, yep, everyone's everyone's there. You're a bit full. I might have ended up putting a little bit more in you than I did the others for the first coat. So I've got a little bit left. Let's just fill them up a little bit more so that they're all the same thickness. And give it a torch. Isn't that blue just delicious? Luscious. Gorgeous. All the usses. My table's not exactly level. I can see this sides higher than that side. I have to put something else under there. I have got one pop stick under there but I'm going to add something. I'm going to put something else there as well. Right, let's give it a quick torch. Pop those bubbles. I'm going to cover these babies up. I'm going to tuck the dogs in and I'm going to bed. Alrighty. What's that? Just a little bit of glitter. All right, looks good, hey? I'm going to cover it with my plastic drawer. It fits nicely over those. 
And um, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. I'm so excited. Hope it works. We'll see you then. Good morning. Oh, I tell you, this has got to be the most excited I've been for any unmolding. Oh, all right. Here we go. Let's just hope it works, hey? So what we're looking for is the gold that I used to do those stamens, I guess they're called. Not sure what those are called. In the flowers. We are hoping, to all hope, that they are going to stick to the other side of the resin and not stick to the mould, okay? So that's what we're hoping for. So that's the first thing we're hoping for. The second thing we're hoping for is obviously a pretty bloom. Now, I'm just going to put this canvas here just so that we can focus. All right. Are you ready? <gasps> well, let's get it out. Are you going to come out? Ooh, I just want to come out. Come out, come out. Sometimes it's got a little bit hard to start it. Come on. You're taking away my excitement and of not wanting to come out. Oh, there we go. It's these cheap molds, I tell you, you guys. Sometimes they're not the easiest things to work with. There we go. Hang on. Once you get it started, it should be all right. Hopefully. Yep. It's, it's just hard getting it started sometimes. Phew. All right. There's a little bit of overflow there that I'll just have to break off. See those little tiny drops there? Nothing major. Just break them off. It's got a lot of little ziggy zaggies, you know, ins and outs and things. So it's taking a little bit longer to get out. Hopefully it's not going to stick anywhere. Don't you dare stick anywhere. Is that going to stick? Don't you dare stick. You can't break them after just one use, surely, to goodness. Hang on, I'm just going to put you on pause and just loosen it, all right? I won't flip it over, I promise. All right, it did stick a little bit just there. A little bit of silicone got stuck. I had to cut it off, but that sh it should be all right. I mean, I can still use it again. It's just annoying, isn't it? First time using these. All right, here we go. Um, all right, let's see. Let's peel, let's peel this way and have a look at the bottom of the mold and see if the gold has stuck to the mold all right oh, it hasn't look look at the mold it's clean oh wow yay 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 that means the gold is going to be on my resin yes let's do it this way there it is oh wow look at that you guys oh my gosh it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Yay! I'm so happy. Oh, wow. Look at that. I don't know where to look first. Look at my little centre. It's got the... Look, you can see the little gold dots. It worked. What I said, I wonder if we could still see the little gold dots. And then we've got that sort of white sparkly centre in the middle. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Got a little a few little bubbles. A few little bubbles to sand. But you know, once you put your gold pen around the edges, they're not going to be that noticeable, but I will sand them. I guess the problem with waiting and I know some of you like to hear my thought processes, others don't, but the problem I guess with waiting for your resin to start to thicken up is the bubbles get trapped down the bottom. Um, and they, they don't rise as freely because the resin's thicker. So, oh, well. But anyway, that's that's a minor thing. If they're on the edge, you can sand them off. All right, one down. Oh, 
four to go. Now, I wonder if these are going to take so long to, to get out. Hopefully not. I might have to go and loosen them all. I'm just sort of pushing that stick in there to try and loosen that. Just in that little corner. Yeah, see they are sticking. Oh, God. Oh, now I must tell you, uh, one of the ladies on my Facebook group, her name is Julie Johnston. What a lovely name, Julie, hey? Hi, Jules! <laughs> and she's been doing some really, really lovely 3D blooms. Um, oh, these are sticking. Oh, my God. It's just at the top layer. Um, anyway, she did, um, I saw her do use these little moulds and she did um, a trinket dish. So, you know, when these come out, you just sort of lay it in a little bowl and they turned out really gorgeous. So, yeah, when I do my big bowl with the big mould like this, it will be a, a bowl, not a trinket dish, but it'll be a bowl. But, but thanks for the inspiration there, Julie. I don't know if she's got um, a YouTube channel. Oh my god, these are sticking really badly. I don't want to break the mould. Help! Help! It's stuck! Right, I'm going to go and loosen these. I'm going to loosen all of them and I'm going to come back to you. Otherwise you're going to be here all day. Right, that was a bit of a struggle. Uh, I used my little knife. And just um, just sort of trimmed as close as I could to the the resin, and had to loosen quite a few pieces. I don't know if you can see. See there, it's just stuck a bit. So yeah, if you get if you've got these white thin molds, just be really careful. I probably shouldn't have even torched, but the bubbles were there. But um, yeah, I won't. I'll just have to remember with these ones. I mean, with all moulds you shouldn't, but these ones are particularly more prone to sticking. All right, let's get that out and let's do the reveal. Are you ready? You know what to expect now, don't you? And look, look how clean the moulds come out. Oh, I thought I was going to have to wash them. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, another beautiful one. Yay. And you know what? You don't have to worry about your centre being off centre because it's already there. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's loosen this. Let's do this one this way again. Hey, this was this was fun doing it this way. If I can loosen it. And here we go. Popped it out. Yay! Look at that. Wow. I love that blue background. It's not too much, is it, having that little bit of sparkle in the blue to match the um, the gold? There's our petals on the inside. You can see how thin I made the blue layer. Very, very thin. It's raining <clears throat> again, again, again. <clears throat> it is the wet season after all. Yay! Oh my gosh, they're all beautiful, if I do say so myself. They are just amazing. Now, the other thing I must tell you, because these are raised, I hope you can see that, these are indented. So, I mean, those there are indented. I guess, you know, it doesn't matter if you're putting it, you know, using it as a coaster. I don't think it matters. If it bothers you, by all means, put a clear coat on the top. But um, I'm not going to bother with it. I don't, oh, yeah, see? You see how you can see into that middle bit there? It looks as if it's silver, doesn't it? <laughs> Chrome or something, that centre. But you can see how the the little round circles are actually indented they're little holes so yeah really pretty but it doesn't bother me at all that's just part of the it's just the feature of it isn't it it's just how it is oh look at me i'm going on for 10 minutes here doing a reveal and the last one 
Ta-da! We're done. Wow. Love the way the flowers have bloomed. And we've got the smaller little petal in the middle there. So pretty. Wow, wow, wow. Love them, love them, love them. I'm not even going to be able to hold them all at once. <laughs> all right, there they are. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll go and set them up in the sun. Well, I don't think I'll get any sun today in the rain, but I'll go and set them up at some stage and show you. <gasps> love them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. My next video coming up, I'm going to do a test on all the different um, white pigments and see which one makes the best petals. See if there's any difference at all. Not sure. We will find out. Okay, love you all. Take care. Bye for now.